Massive oceanic mess, invasive seaweed called sargasm could make its way into the Gulf and toward the beaches of Galveston. Meteorologist Pat Kavlin is here now to further explain. Yeah, so the big question is exactly, you know, where is it right now, right? Well, the good news, we look at the Texas coast here. You can see we don't have any concentrations from the upper coast all the way down towards the Texas and Mexico border. So as we widen out the shot and we take a look at the rest of the Gulf, I mean, we're pretty quiet. I mean, the only thing is maybe a little bit of concentration out towards New Orleans. That's nothing. That little bit of land, of course, sticking out into the Gulf. So that's going to catch any seaweed that drifts by. But notice the Atlantic side of Florida, how we get a little bit higher concentrations because you have that exposure towards the Atlantic Ocean. As we get into the Caribbean, you see higher concentrations along the southern Greater Antilles. So as you get into Cuba, as you get into Hispaniola, even parts of Jamaica, and then finally into the Lesser Antilles, the island chain here, notice all of that red coloring indicating some of the highest concentrations of that sargassum. So where does it come from? Well, it comes from the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt, all that green there across the equatorial regions of the Atlantic. Where does the name come from? Notice the Sargasso City. The Sargasso Sea is a part of the Atlantic Ocean that's bounded by four currents, hence the, t the term that it's a sea. And those four currents are very important in determining the direction of where the sargasm goes. You can see all those currents going there in a circle. Well, they do bring it again into the Caribbean and then ultimately into the Gulf of Mexico. What's good, though, is that we have our own little belt here in the Gulf of Mexico that will hopefully keep a lot of this concentration out. But we are considering we are thinking that we're going to see a lot of this here in Florida. So this is nothing new. We have noticed, though, more concentrations of sargasm in the last few years. If it makes it on shore, guys, it could be uh, could pose some health hazards. Health hazards. We'll have to keep an eye on it into the summer.